All right, guys, we are playing some gobos today. Um, sweet. I don't know how good this is going to be, but we're going to try. Um, get stuff set up real quick. All right. Maybe I should be in the... It sucks because I'm not in the uh, goblin uh, thing anymore. So... <laughs> Alright. Uh, we have two lands. We got some one drops. We got a bushwhacker. We'll keep... All right, let you do your turn. All right, let's plug this baby in. Hopefully this works since my PC's decided to uh, go bad today or uh, have a problem today. Hopefully this thing works as expected without needing a restart from OBS Studio. All right. Evolved Sleeper. Passes. Play a Swamp Mountain. Oh, I think I just... Horde Master. Go to Combat. Attack. Next turn we could play Loyalist plus Bushwhacker. Seems pretty good. Is anybody in here? Not yet. If we could... Ah, oh, there goes that. He takes out a mountain. Okay. Pile driver. Play the grounds. Okay, play horde master. Play Loyalist. Go to combat. Attack. Get frisky. Pass the turn. I don't know how good this is going to be. Hopefully this is a fast league. That's what I'm aiming for. Started late because it took me a while to figure out what deck to play. All right, so we could definitely, if we draw a land, we could Pile Driver plus Bushwhacker, smash his face in. Oh my God, dude, that would be just unbelievably powerful. All right. How long until the end of your next turn? Okay, okay, that's a land. That is a land, baby. We will not even bother with that. We'll play Pile Driver. Grow the Dork. Uh, Bushwhacker kicked or surged. I don't even care. <laughs> don't even care. All right, got it. Screw you in your removal. <laughs> um, against black, Alpine Moon doesn't matter. Life gain probably doesn't matter either. I guess Charmar Gabo seems pretty decent. He does have some. X ones. Um maybe down the war chief, right like that. Wow. Wow 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 our gobos busted. So Alright, see if this thing if I refresh this thing. Alright. This kinda works. I guess keep. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so crap. It doesn't work. <laughs> I have to restart. Freaking OBS Studio. Ugh, I hate it. Plays Evolve Sleeper. All right, so what is my best move here? It's definitely playing this mountain. 
Now, what comes after that? I uh, could Firebrand sh shoot the sleeper. If I give him priority, he would probably not die. I think I have to just Firebrand pop that. Pass the turn. And we need to draw a mountain or a red source. Thought sees. What the freak is that, dude? <laughs> I mean, sure. Um, it's not really amazing. Uh, this scavenging ground do is anti wombo with this uh, chain waller, though. <laughs> Ugh. Three red pips. This grounds takes my loyalist. All right. Rampadot Ruins. Play the Rampadot Ruins. Play Skirk Prospector. Go? Ouch. Swamp. Graveyard Trespasser. He's a loyalist. Well, that's something. Right? That's not bad. That's not bad. So I think I just play the hobo past the turn. We're going to work towards this Emmercleave. Hopefully that's enough to close this game out. Uh, assuming he doesn't have removal, of course. Gex for the opponent. He attacks. All right. Eats there I can't trade I he has to do more uh, even though I don't really want him drawing either but if I would have blocked he probably would have just sniped one and I would have lost both creatures squee okay play squee hmm Go to combat. Attack. Make a dork. See what happens. He blocks there. We sack that gobbo. Pay into this. And it says to. <sighs> so two damage to any target. I ain't pop you. Yep. Down to 14. Embercleave is becoming a possible, uh, becoming possible. <sighs> Question is how? How do we do this turn? We gotta navigate it correctly because we attack with three. This costs two and one. So Embercleave could potentially be the deciding factor here. Uh, yeah. He, he has a hive. So he must have something that he's wanting to execute here. We'll take it. Um, uh, he's, yeah, he's down to 13, but he has five cards in hand. He's definitely winning the, the uh, war on that front. Um, but we'll try. We should be able to attack out with this Embercleave. Yeah, we're playing Goblins. Which I figured I would play this because it's Richie's favorite tribe. <laughs> but I think we're facing Mono Black Aggro. So. But for some reason Mono Black Aggro... Is playing Thought Seize against a Goblin deck doesn't seem very... Do we have Snoop? Heck no. Snoop is not good enough. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that, though. <laughs> I'm trying to think how I want to navigate this turn. And what does he have for this? Alright, Snipes one. Ugh. Plays a creature that can't block. Passes. We draw a swamp. <sighs> I 
Goblin Chain Waller. Snipe the champion. Go to combat. You might be able to push this. Uh, we attack with the squee. He kills my bandit. Okay. That's not at all what I was worried about. Um, yeah. Then again, maybe that was incorrect. I think I lose that hive. The hive. <coughs> Let's see if he sees it. Yeah, he should just have to turn on the hive. Yeah, we just did not have a very good hand. <laughs> that grounds actually mattered. <laughs> um... Maybe this, maybe obliterating bolts is better. Ironically. So. <laughs> Getting rid of a Gex seems pretty important. This is a land heavy hand. All right. I don't know. I like the I like these two together. Seems pretty sweet. The question is, can we top deck something? And not lose to variants? Because the physical odds that we keep top decking a lot of lands is unlikely. We only run I guess twenty two, that would be what? Point three six percent. Alright, play the Edison. Hopefully we don't top deck lands. Then again, that's I feel like that's how magic works. Mm. Swamp. Knight of the Even Legion. Of course. The flipping lands. <laughs> Here it starts. Pass the turn. Come on. Seriously, this is. Seems very unlikely. He should attack with a knight. He does not. Alright, that's not. Play Squee. Uh, attack? So he could trade. He trades here. Alright. Pass the turn. So he could pump one. That doesn't do a lot to Graveyard Trespasser. We need a one drop. Preferably or two drop. Preferably a two drop. It's more powerful than the one drop. Oh my god. Pass the turn. We'll make a bunch of, I guess, tokens here. I'm not a fan. He attacks. Eats there. Cycle. Yep. Or channel, I should say. Yeah, we'll chomp. Don't want him growing his knights. <clears throat> Gets Abosh in hand. Okay. That's that that's bonkers. That's good. Okay. Goblin Pile Driver. Surge it. 
Grow the team. Go to combat. Attack you. That's decent. How's it going, Jordan? How's it going? Okay, he chomps. Seems reasonable. Probably block here. Otherwise, you're losing a nine to the even legion. I'm good, man. How are you? Pretty solid overall. Hopefully, uh, we can get match one here with these gobos. <laughs> That's the plan. All right. That works. So, we'll see what he does. We have Den of the Bugbear we could activate. Which, I guess he does have... But he's tapping out with Abahash. All right, so he this is six points of damage coming across. Yep. How do we... Can we get through this? Obliterating Bolt. Hmm... So if I turn this on, I'm going to lose everything. Goblins versus elves. What you got? <laughs> uh, I wish it was elves. It would be, a, I think, a better matchup. Um, okay, so if I attack here, here, here. No matter what he blocks his Abosh with, I can kill it. Which I think I have to. Actually, I can attack with everything, because he blocks here. This is four points of damage, so... Alright. I keep messing up. I keep inverting them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I need to put Goblin Pile Drivers on the stack for first. Okay. So, that kills him. Get rid of the Abosh. You. So now he has a single threat. We got a den of the bugbear ready to go. Um, I don't know. He probably can't attack with the the graveyard trespasser, but he does. He's the squee, I assume. Anything else would not be correct. Yep. All right. What else do you have? Do you have removal? Okay, a guy that can't block. Another guy that can't block. Okay. He does have open den of the bugbear. So, that is something. So, battle cry goblin. Question is, can that win the game? Pomp. Pomp. Go to combat. Attack. GG's. Yes. Gobos. Gobos, baby. That's where the money is. <laughs> Alright. 2-1 Gobbo. Got first match. Wait. Um. Welcome, Jordan. I think, uh, are you new? Uh, this is your, your first time catching the live stream? Sweet. Glad to have you. It's first time. Hopefully you bring the good luck, right? Give us that 5-0. Um, Richie, uh, Warrior of Aryer was the guy that basically he gave... He's, he sent me a list for the Samurai list and the um, Sliver list that I played last stream. So, he's, he's been around for a little bit. I don't know, so know if he comments often on the streams. Alright, so. Um. This hand is not a keepable hand. Oh, no. 
I hate losing like this. I hate losing because if we have to mull, it's like the worst kind of way to lose. Can I risk any of these? Like, can I take a one land hand with goblins and be okay? Or do I have to keep mulliganing? All right. Okay, this hand is keep. I don't think I need Skirt Prospector. Firebrand is pretty decent if I... I think I put it back a mountain. So I think I need Firebrand in case he plays an elf. I mean, let's face it, those eight elves are pretty common in the format. Cardplusion Forest. There's an elf. Called it. All right. Suicide Goblin. Go. This looks like Gruel Vehicles, so we'll pop it. I ain't even having that. And another with five color human and another with five life gang, gang cleric. A lot of tribal over here. Uh, I mean, I played clerics before. Um, mono, I think it was mono black. Um, might have been black white. I don't remember. It was something. Well... I mean, if you're a tribal player, have you watched any of my uh, my tribe series? <laughs> uh, pile driver, you. I mean, I have a whole series dedicated to my tribe. <laughs> if you've been around this channel at all very long, you sh you'll know that like my le legitimately, I have so many. Uh, playlist. Boom. Oh, wait, that's not, that's not right. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Um. <laughs> dinosaurs. I have a full playlist on dinosaurs. <laughs> it's great. All right. So. So what I think I do is I play Loyalist. Play a Horde Master. You're going to shock my Pile Driver? Or Stomp? Yep. Seen that one coming. Like, you couldn't make it more obvious. Go to Combat. Attack. Went 4-1 at 1k with Slivers. Been going 3-0 a lot on Friday Night Magic with Slivers. It's pretty decent. I thought about doing slivers in Pioneer. I don't know. We also have a lot of vampire fans. We kind of do. But they. I don't know if they've been around as much as they used to. It's kind of sad. I don't know what they're up to. Oh, uh, wow. How do I pivot this turn? So we're clearly facing rural vehicles. And... Ah, I don't have any companions. Mmm. And just hard casting a bushwhacker. Cast BCG. Oh, that's not mine. Yeah, that's theirs. <laughs> if we had a Bone Crusher Giant, maybe that maybe I should be running a Bone Crusher Giant. I mean, giants go hand in hand with goblins, right? I mean, they constantly squish them and kill them, but you know, <laughs> and probably goblins are terrified of them. Uh, I just don't know. Like, do I play this bushwhacker? Do I hold it back? Uh, pass the turn, I guess. This sucks. Uh, we're one land short from Den of the Bugbear. 
We can't really profitably attack because they'll just cherry it. So, what beats goblins? Mid range piles like this one. We need Ember Cleave. Me and another friend have Boro Samurai as well. Fun deck. Your love for Samurais does impress me. I mean, it is a tribe that historically they have not given that many good cards to. <laughs> but I do appreciate the love enthusiasm for that tribe. It's good. All right, we take the beats. And it's not often we ever go to a, a Japanese plane to get Samurais. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. There's just like no way of profitably moving, right? <coughs> if I attack with Den of the Bugbear. I just don't know, like... So if I attack with Den, it'll be a 4-3. You have First Strike and Trample, right, though? That's only if I attack with a Horde Master. So maybe I do just play this Bushwhacker. That gives me another creature I could technically attack with next turn. <coughs> yeah, but that happens... The token happens... I guess I guess you can control it on the stack. <coughs> yeah, I don't know if I necessarily know if I, I trust my ability to stack that correctly. I don't know how it works. I could be wrong. Yeah, you have to stack it so that way Legion's Loyalist resolves after the token comes down. Okay. So Oh no, this is the infinite combo, right? No, wait, no, wait. They don't have, he doesn't have a token of this. Okay, we need an Ember Cleave off the top. Ember Cleave. Gosh, that sucks. Uh, I think we're just dead. I mean, we're going to go full force on the way out the door, but. It's not looking great. So, Legion's Loyalist on the stack first. All right, he's at six and we die. Okay. Well, that's just, that's something I don't know if we have a good ma a good ability here. So Alpine Moon doesn't help. Folly doesn't do anything in this matchup. A Blittering Bolt can help only against like Bone Crusher Giant. Chain Waller does deal with the Elves. I guess that's something. Vol he doesn't gain life, so. You know what? I think I'm going to go down a Bushwhacker. I, this does not look... This does not feel like a good matchup. They basically go on top of us. Hmm. Blasphemy. <laughs> this hand is... Weird. We have no one drops, but we can't technically play any one drops. I guess we try this. We could battle cry next turn. That's something. But we have to play the castle tapped, so. <coughs> I mean, this has to be a better hand than we started with last time, right? Oh, uh, there's a dork. Untap. That would normally be good, but not with, not, with, not with this hand. 
Uh, we need so much red mana to make this work. So, what's my best top deck? Fable? <laughs> I'm assuming this is Fable the Mirror Breaker. Who else would it be? Yes. Oh, no, it's just my PC spinning. Okay. Pile driver. Play Horde Master. Get frisky. Yep. We need a land. I would have been much happier if we would have had a one drop there. Because <laughs> at least I could one drop plus Bushwhacker next turn, but now I, I can't even double spell. <laughs> he throws away a Besaju. Let's draw a card. Makes sense. To say you probably doesn't really matter in this matchup. How do I? How do I win? He attacks. Take it. Maybe we should be playing Fable the Mirror Breaker. He makes a Goblin token. That has to be right. Ah, oh, there goes our freaking guy. Is that a bad suggestion? Oh my god. Ugh. Alright, so we play another Battle Cry Goblin. Pass the turn. Jeez. This is very difficult. Alright, so. He attacks. I don't think I'm going to win if I block. I need a land. Where are they at? Come on, give me one. What white, mo what white mana does he need? Oh my god. Alright, there's a freaking land. Now the problem is he tacks, he kills any of my damn threats. This is crew three. All right. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I meant to do bushwhacker. All right. He's just gonna. Burn whatever he can this turn. Freaking boat. He's got a boat. Ugh. Alright, so he makes a copy. He gets to attack. He untaps. So he should have infinite combat phases, right? I believe so. He exerts this thing. He makes another copy. Uh, I mean, I guess. I mean, I think he's got infinite combat phases now. Freaking Fable and the Mirror Breaker. <laughs> Why? Why does this exist? So this gets exerted. Actually, it doesn't even matter. He just kills me right now. All right. The 5 0 Dream dies. Okay. That was not good. That was not good at all. <clears throat> Because I was debating about um, goblins or mono red. I, maybe I should have decided with mono red, but I figured Richie would like to see goblins, so. <laughs> he probably wouldn't mind either one, though. Let's be f real here. Maybe Boros Burn. Maybe I, I could play Boros Burn. 
and Mo and Pioneer. We have Boros Charm. I was your last opponent. Oh, good GGs. That was a bad matchup. <laughs> uh, I can't beat that. Uh, okay. And somehow you knew that I was live. Interesting. I'm kidding. Uh, this hand sucks. This hand is, I guess, a little better, but not great. Hmm. I hope you do good in your league. Um, you mole. All right, this is a capable hand. We don't need the grounds. Just pray we're not facing Grease Fang. That should be fine. Um, I don't necessarily think I need this many lands. I'm thinking. Prospector is still fine. It's a one drop. All right. We'll play Firebrand. Hit ya. Yeah, beat you down with a pirate. It's not as good as the uh, the monkey pirate, but he's still a pirate. Steam Vents. Preserving his life total. That's not a bad top deck. So we will battle cry goblin. Go to combat. How bad of how bad of an idea would it be to play Prospector, to sack Prospector, to get the surge cost? Would that be a terrible move? <laughs> Let me know, Richie. This hand's shaping up nice. Maybe. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Prospector. Now I don't even need to sack. Get down some bushwhack. All right, smack your face for six. Pass the turn. Okay, okay. Um, please tell me this is creativity. This is probably creativity. What other? Okay, it's like it has to be right because creativity is the only is it deck that would play a fire prophecy. Because usually that means he's in a c combo list. And he's digging for something. Fiery Impulse. So much removal. Alright, so we go to combat. We attack. 11 more turns, guys. 11 more turns. <laughs> if we draw lands, I suppose, you know, 2 damage comes off this, so... All right, that means we have maybe, okay. Our clock just got doubled. Our clock just got doubled. Attack. Makes two one ones. Okay. Whenever another Goblin you control dies. All right, we trade. Give me a two drop goblin. Give me a two drop gobbo, please. Please. Ugh. And how, how long do I have to this? You can cast the spell until your next end. Ah, I can't cast it. Ugh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> so, oh my god, another removal spell. Oh, I still have them available. Sweet. <laughs> Damn, that was a fire draw, too. <laughs> uh, luckily enough, we get to cast this thing still. Oh, my next turn. Yeah, sweet. So we get to play Chief War Chief. And Alright. 
attack. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn. Do we still have him? Ah, oh, we don't. We tried. We wanted to play both of them, but we just couldn't. Big score. This is definitely creativity. Definitely. Because that's the only deck that would play a big score. Okay. That works. War Chief. Loyalist. Go to combat. Attack for five. Down to four. He needs to win this turn. <sighs> don't don't have it. Don't have it. Don't have it. Um. Ah, uh, crap. And we're dead. Yep. <laughs> that I think we should have exiled the yard there. What what would that have done? What would that have done? Um, hmm. Is there anything in this matchup that's good? He has a lot of removal. Vortex doesn't easily get dealt with. Bushwhacker doesn't seem great. Um... Squeeze seems pretty decent here. Maybe go down one of those, went out down one of those, run out like that. I'm always afraid they're gonna treasure. Oh yeah, good point. Maybe I bring in that over that. Run out like that. Yeah. So that yeah, you, you, thank you. A hearse makes perfect sense. We get to eat their yard. It is a threat that's harder to deal with as it gets big. So maybe that could help us, you know. <laughs> so ironically, this hand's kind of weird. It's kind of it kind of like encourages me not to play a firebrand turn two. Hoping that I could bushwhacker turn three with it. Go to combat attack. Yep. All right. All right. We just need to win this. We need to win this. We need to win at least two matches. We won one. Just need one more. Play Firebrand. Go to combat attack. It's always correct to wait until after they tap to ping it down. <coughs> Come on, Dak. Give me a one drop. One drop. Pile driver. Okay, so that means I get to play a lord. Go to combat. Attack. Probably snipe here. Kill this thing. You know you want to. Takes it. Oh, sweet. <coughs> so he needs to beat me this turn, right? He has to. Or he needs to stop something on my board. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. That doesn't do it, though. So, we Pile Driver. Surge it. Attack with everything. Now you have to block my 11-11. <laughs> yes, yes. Goblins, goblins. Pioneer at one, at one. <laughs> Come on, Dak, hold. Don't you, don't you flop on me. Uh, he, he discards two lands. He's conceded. Thank God. 
All right, I need a very explosive hand. I don't see anything that's worth much. Maybe Bushwhacker is better now on the draw. Maybe we trim the Prospector and a hearse. I don't like that. That sounds backwards. <laughs> what well, sounds backwards? All right. Bushwhacker has to be better on the play, right? <laughs> I don't know. You're the goblin expert. <laughs> I just assumed it was better because we're on the draw, right? So we're going to have, a, we need to be faster attacking wise and aggressive to be able to beat them on the play. That was my thought process. Maybe you're right. Uh, one land hand. Oh my God. We're going to mulch into oblivion, aren't we? Damn it. Ugh. Mm-mm. All right, keep. I'm the deck-making expert. I hate this. Like, we're, we're going to probably lose. Ouch. Yeah. Mulligating down to four. That sucks. <sighs> Plays the tap land. Passes. Well, that's not bad. That's not a bad top deck. Um, let's see what happens here. We get double spell. <coughs> Firebrand. Legion Loyalist. Attack or five? <coughs> that works. Impulse. I don't know how I can get this goblin, Battlecry goblin down, though. <coughs> Cabby kept one land if you have one, one, one drops and some two drops. I guess maybe it's, maybe you can make that argument, I guess, if it, the one of the one drops is a Skirk Prospector, maybe. Maybe that's an argument you can make. So you can, I think that seven was keepable. You tell me way too late. That's assuming, yeah, if we would have top deck a land, it might've been fine. All right, see what he does here. Two blue, that's not, Okay, that's that, that feels great. You know what that, you know what that tells me? He's probably <coughs> having land issues, and he's trying to dig for one. That's basically what this is telling me, in my opinion. Because <coughs> why else would you do it main phase? Makes no sense. All right, ramp it out ruins. Play battle cry goblin. Uh, okay, it gets bigger. Attack for four. All right, you shoot that down. That's fine. Smack you. Pass the turn. Okay. We got into 11. <laughs> we want, I want a squee, I think. Or a lord. A lord wouldn't be bad here. 
we draw a land. Ah. Pass the turn. That sucks. Discards an indomitable creativity. That's an interesting line. What is my best top deck? A battle cry? Take it. We're at a higher life total. I don't care. What's my best top deck? You got a sweeper? Undo that. Undo this. Indominal Creativity. X1. Alright. Gets a World Spine Worm. Well, that's a clock. Um... Ember Cleave. How do I do this? I'm going to be taking 15. So if I tack out, right, I could do one, two, three, four, five. So if I tack out, if I tack here, here, he blocks one. I Ember Cleave the other. That's four points of damage. And then this is up for whatever kind of thing. My worry is that he has Xenagos in hand. And he's just going to beat me next turn. Ugh. Embercleave. Put it on there. Pass the turn. Oh, God. Yep. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. You have to tack all, but this thing is is kind of useless. Um, and here's then it goes right. He has a green. Yep, mulliganing that far killed it. Killed it. The one and three, one and two. Ugh, goblins. You just need to win at least one more. One more. I gotta believe. I gotta believe in the heart of the cards. Do some Yu-Gi-Oh references. All right, this hand looks decent. Keep it. I got Pioneer. All right, if you want to send me your Pioneer sliver list, I mean, I'll be happy to give it a shot. Um... Elf. Okay. I think I played Den. Ugh, hopefully that doesn't backfire. Kiora. Untaps. What a one drop. 
E. Okay. No, no thigh board. All I play anymore is Pioneer. <laughs> uh, trying to think. Can I win? This is this has got to be a bad matchup. Um, if we can't get underneath it fast enough. So the question is, do I play a Lord? Let's play a Lord. Uh, get Frisky at Kiora. Okay. Now the question is, what is going to happen next? <sighs> what is my best top deck? Haven... That task for so he has four mana more or less. He has five mana. Play a freaking cavalier. Love struck beast. Draws a card. How do I pivot this turn? Take it. Loyalist. Loyalist. Do I play Prospector or do I play the Firebrand? All right, play Firebrand. I could attack and he blocks, I ping it, but then I'm losing two creatures. To kill a 5-5. Five five. I don't know if that's worth it. I think I just pass. Um, that means I can Ember Cleave. I just don't know if that's worth it. Othanissa. I could swing out, ember cleave, pump something. I would imagine it would be five color slivers. I brew a green red goblin deck in Pioneer. Would you like to see the list? Sure. Um, there should be a, depending on how you want to do it, there in the description there is a link to either my Discord channel or my email address is also in the description. <clears throat> okay. So, if I bother attacking out, the only thing I can gain is four, three damage. It would trade in combat but he would take two over. I 
the problem is how much longer can I hold off? Let's just uh, let's just play some one drops. I am not excited about my position. Pass the turn. Do I go for it? I imagine green red means you probably you're playing a Tarkas command, probably. Ugh. Uh, this is a. I think we lost turn one when we didn't realize kill the elf. <laughs> Not necessarily. I mean, this is. We're basically trying to get to the point where we could one swat him with an ember cleave. Okay, pass the turn. So, I mean, our best bet is Pile Driver. Pile Driver probably means we win. We are one and three with Goblins. You're probably thinking that's you deserve it because you're playing Goblins, Dire. <laughs> Storm the Festival. some reason we have not found another land that is interesting like what's my best top deck so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven nah. i got a lot of guys that'll die no goblins are fast and fun and they're not that fast i wish they were a little bit faster to be honest it would be much better. And that's nicer. So what is he tutoring with Karn? I'm just not sure when I can go for the Ember Cleave. If I had more lands, this wouldn't be an issue. Because then I can multi-spell in a given turn. But with this current land situation... I could sack a Skirk Prospector, play a Squee. <clears throat> what is he grabbing? He's thinking very long and hard about what to grab at this. It shouldn't be that difficult, right? Looks like a lot of people are posting stuff in my uh, Discord. Pioneer. Dire Stomper list. I gotta look at this. Uh, Elvish Mystic... Garuk, Harbringer, Old Girl Troll, Steely Champion, Defile, Vorticlax, Storm the Festival, Nick those. Only a two of though. Interesting. Where's my lands? <laughs> um, we got an ox. We did it, guys. We did it. We got an ox. All right. We don't have a lord anymore. Sack goblins net us cards. Ah, that must have been too late. <laughs> that must have been before this thing died. <laughs> yes. Um. Man. Ironically, our ox is our best creature. <laughs> That's bad. Um.
It's just for F and M. Ah. But why only two nick those? The Great Hinge. Interesting. Kiora. I'm so trying to process this. I don't... I don't know how to navigate this. This is not a... Hmm. He's going to snipe something every turn. Give me oxes. I don't know what's taking him so long to decide what he's doing. It's my hinge in, in my fight rigging deck. Hinge guy. Yes. That's a uh, I've never seen someone take so long to decide. What to do with a firebrand on the stack? Hinge engine equals hinge in. Yes. That's typical of magic players. Make up a word from two words that d describe a deck. That's totally what we do. This is my hinge in deck. I mean, I will take a timeout. I am not at the point where I'm not okay with resorting to that. <laughs> Neo brand. Finally resolves. It finally resolves. Um, play another one. Okay, now, now he's letting things go. Uh... <sighs> But the problem is, how do I navigate this? I need to kill the Karn. But there's really no profitable way of killing a Karn. Other than exchanging all of my... Firebrands. How's it going, Shadow Wolf? Maybe you can come up with one during video. Come up with what? I think I sent it. So... Yep, it looks like somebody joined my Discord. Uh-huh, Shadow Wolf. Sweet. Condition Snoop. Chirolith Right as a way to produce mana by tapping goblins. Goblin and Instigator. Agoro Goro for haste. Rob the archives. I gotta look that one up. Custo 2. Ringleader, Twin Snipe Goblin. Okay. Two Siege Gang Commanders. That's classic. Siege Gang Commander. <sighs> Let's give you a roll. Terranano's. What? Well, what? Well, it's really budget. You get upgrades. Okay, so. He snipes down. What's the plan to do with this, that stick? This stick? <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to figure out when I can go for it. Godfair statue. Let's ping down that, too, while we're at it. So, Godfair statue. He is definitely capitalizing. Not, not top, right, top right of the play screen. Hand with the stick looks anonymous. Oh, this thing. The wand. 
uh, basically he gets to pay uh, any color, take a thing off of it, and then destroy a creature, give me an ox. You can only do it at sorcery speed, though. Because it's fixed. Is transmogrifying wand. All right, we're at an eight. Um, I drafted one too many times. <laughs> it's not good. Um, I guess this is more for spirits. Changing a flyer to a 2-4 ox. Probably better. I just don't know what I'm doing here. What is my outs? Like, so he has a 5-5. Five, five. The most damage I can get through is 6 with his ox. If I put Embercleave on it. But I have to sack two dorks to be able to ember cleave. Ugh. And this is still match one, right? This is still game one, I should say. Uh, let's, does this, this does not tell me. Okay. So. If I don't attack out. I block, block, take a crap ton. Now's my chance. All right. Uh, this is going to be interesting, though. <laughs> I wish I could play creatures, but this thing prevents me from doing hardly anything. Um. Wait, figure it out. <laughs> there is no figuring it out. We have a bunch of 1-1s. One -ones. We have no Lord. Going for it. We got to. At some point. I, <laughs> attack. It's, it's definitely the goblin way of life to go. <laughs> Just attack. Ask questions later. We'll see how he blocks. The problem is we can't make this any bigger. That took longer. My poor ox. It's going to get blocked here, right? I mean, what else? Would, why wouldn't he? Oh, he blocks here. Blocks here. Okay, now he realizes what he's doing. Okay, okay. It took him to, he figured it out, guys. He figured it out. All right. Sock. Oh, we can't sock the ox. Sack there. Oh, that's right. That's right. I didn't even need to sack it. Man. I didn't even think about it. This two more tax doesn't matter if I swing out with more creatures. It goes away because of the Embercleave discount. Oh. So if I put it here, I at least kill this, but I'm taking more than enough damage on the backswing. If I put it here, it's three, two, one. yeah, so it, it wouldn't be worth it. I'd be better off just putting it here.
We died. Yes, we definitely died. Basically, what we're hoping for now, I guess, is we push it out a mat game and we win by clock. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> Maybe I should have just stalled it out. I mean, he, by himself, he is doing a lot of the work to himself. All right. We dead. So we will just ship it. It's okay. We fight again. Yes, we fight again. We'll let him decide whatever he wants to do. He attacks out with everything. Okay, he kills us. All right, next time we will not get stuck on two lands. Like the, I think that really, I usually come up with some crazy bruise for Pioneer. Would you like to receive it? Sure. That's what the whole Discord's all about. Helping people get make a little slightly better deck. Spells your opponent's casts cost two more to cast. So the fact that this thing, it costs one less to cast for each creature attacking. So it kind of gets through this. So I missed out on a point of damage. All right, he is taking a long time to decide that he wants to finalize this damage. So yeah, Shadow, definitely. Um and if you're not if you're not aware, Shadow, uh if you of course put your decks on whatever platform you want, like Mox or Det not Det stats net, no. But if you want to tap out Mox um, goldfish, whatever. You put your list on it. You just do this right here. The ha um, and then on Sunday streams, I will random it for four v decks. We we review it, and then basically it goes on a poll every week. And whoever wins the poll out of the de up to four or five decks picked, uh, they will I will play that deck on stream. So if that interests you and you want to see your deck be being played, you could just post your list there and we'll talk about it on Sunday. Okay, finally sides to let the damage through. So against this matchup, we definitely have obliterating bolts. Um, that seems like our best option. Probably can trim him and a bushwhack. Run it like that. So, that is a, a free way if you want to be able to get your deck list played and talked about. It works. Oh, man, this hand sucks. All lands and a hobo gobble. Okay. It's a little bit better. Uh, negative on this one. I mean, we have a one drop. We might em Embercleave might be relevant. But we don't have a way to answer the elf, which is the worst part about it. Do you? All right. All right. This hand is a keep. I just say what I do. I think this is a keepable hand. So we play the land, play Foundry Denizen, pass the turn. We just need. Two drops. Two drops, baby. Because next turn we get Loyalist, Loyalist. Smack for... Three, five? Doesn't seem bad. Now, as long as we don't get stuck on two lands. Hey, MTG Gaming Bob, how's it going? Howdy. The best verb. 
elf. Scavenger grounds. That's a land. So that is something. Play a legion loyalist. Legion loyalist. Go to combat. Get frisky for five. Yep. All right. We need a three drop here. Give me squee. Give me squee or something. That would be great. Red aggro goblins. Yes. Um, I am debating about this. Maybe I should have picked uh, mono red, but. Uh, all right. Skirk prospector. Freaking five fives, man. How do goblins get through a five five? If I attack out, he's going to block here. We just need a mid-range threat. You know, the best that goblins have to offer. Hobo Gobble will be pretty decent. I just want to cast Chain Warrior into my Soul Scar Mage again. Ah, get that one damage, uh, tournament stack damage counter on him. Uh, maybe I should have brought Chain Waller in. Did I bring it in? Or am I just a bloody idiot? Uh, yeah, I didn't bring it in. <laughs> That's bad. I brought in a uh bolts, but bolts don't really help if I against a four four. I think next time I'm going to try Mono Red Aggro. If I play Mono Red. It's okay. We never have Red, Red, Red anyway. We do now. <laughs> uh, joke's on you. You don't believe. You don't believe in the Red Aggro. Alright, we really need something here. Uh, he has next those. He has one, two, three, four, five pips. Kiora untaps. Make six. Another Othanessa. Takes an Elvish Mystic. Okay. Untaps, produces nine. Yeah, we do have Alpine Moon. I just thought it would make us too slow. Because in this matchup, we have to get underneath it. We can't go over the top of this thing. <laughs> um, Alpine Moons is more for Lotus Field combo. Because, like I said, we can't play something that slow. That doesn't work. We are slipping away here. All right. Pass the turn. We can't play Blood Moon. We can't play the Pile Driver. We kind of have to wait until we can give it haste of some, some possible way. I don't know. It's one mana. Seems good enough to shut off Nick those. Yeah, but like, how do we combat it? Like, how do we ever beat a Cavalier once a Cavalier just comes down? Like, I don't know. Cityscape leveler. Leveling up our yard. Our board, I should say. This is... Ugh. What a terrible, terrible time to be an aggro player. You can't play it in modern. You, now you guess you can't play it in pioneer. Ugh. So he attacks. What are you hitting now? 
sack it. Um, I could pay into the Rampadaw Ruins. Stack there. Deal two. Broke it. Okay, we need we need a reckless bushwhacker. Please, off the top. Reckless bushwhacker. A land. And we did. We got him. <laughs> we got him with a ugh, terrible time. Goblins. Goblins, you're supposed to win at least two matches. <laughs> Uh, I sh I'm gonna be a I'm having bad luck. I got a four one and then a one four and it looks like another one four. It's like, ouch, 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 ouch. I need MTG Gaming Bob's luck. Got your email about the. Pioneer slivers. Please stop cutting Bushwhacker on the play for me. Okay, I won't cut it. Predatory sliver, Litching server, Diffusion, Mana Whift. Oh, don't ask for that. Hive Lord sliver, Striking, two Realm Walkers, two Venoms, Sentinel slivers. That's the Vigilance one. Blossoming defense. I only win through. Detri de detrimation. <laughs> Sl Sliver Hive is Pioneer legal? Did not know that. Gritty. This looks like a keepable hand. Finally, we find a keepable hand. Fortified Beach? Oh no, we're playing soldiers. <laughs> okay. Another Dedison. That's not the end of the world. Play a Dedison. Okay, the tribes. Can a white blue tribe beat them on a red tribe? I don't know. This hand is F I Y A. He gets frisky with his thrabes. What the hell? No, no respect for the goblin player. All right, play a Dittison. Fanatical Firebrand. Grow the team. Go to combat. Hit you for five. Or four. Raise the alarm. Blocks, blocks. Darn nabbit. <laughs> this hand just got much worse. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have attacked. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked. Because now we have a lord coming and uh, we got one goblin left. All right. Let's play the Lord. Pass the turn. You have a counter spell? Oh my god. Okay. You got me with that. You got me with that. Well. So next turn, I guess I get to play two Gobbos, but that's essentially all I can do. Freaking soldiers, man. A little bit of tempo in their soldier plan. Uh, okay. Give me something good here. Pile driver. Play that set, pile driver. This is starting to make me sad now. I, I, I usually have that kind of effect on people.
I can't attack. He'll just trade with a 1-1 one, one soldier, and that's, that's degrading. So... All right, let's see what he does now. Two, three, four. So, if I had a way to give this thing haste, we'd be in some good position here. I mean, Pile Driver is one of the best creatures to put an Ember Cleave on. Just saying, this thing can get gigantic. If I could draw a Firebrand, I think that would be a decent top deck. Because that boost pile driver, it has haste. I get to attack out for four, pay two, put Ember Cleave. That would make it like a six double striker, which which tramples. So that would be my best top deck. Hopefully he he attacks. Does not. Okay, Gabo. Play another pile driver. Pass the turn. You know what? I think I sack him. Go ahead and play battle cry. Go. I'm going for the cleave next turn. Because this battle cry will make another 1-1. One, one, boost these pile drivers. Okay. Bounces. It's like a... It's so weird. It's like I want to be like... Um, spirits, but I want to be soldiers. I want to be, I, I don't know. I mean, this with, it's like a tempo deck that, is, I don't know, masquerading. <laughs> I don't know. It's, this is not how I would construct a, a deck like this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think that's, that's really good. That's about all I could ask for. Okay, grows. Um, go to combat. Attack with everything. <sighs> okay, you're probably gonna have to kill this loyalist. Yes, he does, but that's okay. Attack with everything. Pile driver, get get you some. Alright. So Battle Cry makes another 1-1. One, one, right? Yes. Grows the dork. Grow pile drivers? He's a 9-2. A flippin' 9-2, baby. All right, how do you block? Okay, trades, trades, trades. Embercleave? On a pile driver. Kill ya? <laughs> Kill ya, please, die. Ba boom, sweet. <laughs> okay. Uh, he has white creatures. Rendering volley is a possibility. He has one toughness creatures. This is a possibility. I think that's it. Whew. Uh, that was a. So we're on the draw. War chief out. A prospector out.
go down one lane on the draw. Okay. Uh, scavenger grounds. I need to cut one more card. I like Squee. Prospector. I guess that means, uh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So we have some removal. And Volley's pretty good, right? I mean, a one-drop removal spell is pretty good since we're able to commit stuff while we're removing his stuff. So that works. Holy but Jesus. Uh, we're trying this. <laughs> I, norm I normally don't keep one land hands, but... <laughs> Uh, we're risking it. Oh, yeah. All right. Loyalist. <laughs> Pass the turn. <laughs> we did it. We drew the land. That was half the accomplishment. He gets frisky. That's fine. Take it. Okay. Play Dedison. Play Loyalist. Get not frisky. He has a Mutavolt. Not 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 going into that one. Okay, make some one ones. Perfect. <laughs> All right. The question here here is how do I navigate this turn? If I top deck a land. I could volley plus bushwhacker attack, and that would pump everything into being a first strike profitable situation. He gets frisky with that one. I can care less. I mean, land off the top. It's not a den of the bugbear, please. A den. And then again, I guess I could always just horde master. And then hold off a turn, but I would rather. Ah, uh, yeah. So we rendering, get rid of that thing. You don't. You can't have two twos, opponent. That is not how this works. We get to play a bushwhacker. Grow the dork. Whew. Go to combat. Attack. Close this out, gobos. Close it out. What do you got to say? What do you have to say? Takes it to seven. All right, we get to play a lord plus volley next turn. That's not a good position for him to be in. Another mutable. That's pretty good. I dare him to get ultra frisky here. Get frisky. Yes. Attack with that 1-1. One, one. Attack it like you own it. <laughs> Do it. What else you got? You got double mutable up. Okay. Horde Master. That's a lord. He could have his counter spell. That's a possibility. Cracks the clue. He taps his mutavolts. He's desperately trying to find the counter spell. I know that's what he's up to. Are you slow rolling me? <laughs> you better not be slow. Oh, I got it. All right, we got 50 play points back. 
Okay, that's at least enough. That's enough to play on Sunday. Sweet. Got 130. These things are usually just bad. Uh, tons of different basics. All right. So, that means we are moving on. I'm glad that we are... <laughs> We didn't uh, have to take too long of a stream. That's why I played aggro today. Because <laughs> I wanted very fast matches. Um, so, we will return our cards. And we're playing some modern, of all things. Zombie combo. Zombie. And if we have time, I will try... Out of kindness, I will try to see if we can't fit in his deck. I do have to, like, parse it out. Put it into a deck builder, but... Should, should be able to be done. Alright. If all else fails, I'll play it on Sunday. All right, text, perfect. I will figure out how to... That's not what I want. Oh, there we go. Okay. Champion of the Crips. Sweet. What cards do I need to play zombies? There is a... I have... Oh my god, there's no sideboard. Well. That's okay. That is okay. We'll just rent this deck as is. I don't know. I bet you this is the first time somebody's actually rented a Crypt Champion. <laughs> Phantasmal uh, Image Champion of the Paris. Perished. I have carrying feeders. I need grave crawler. And ether vial. We will win. Let's do it. Uh, shipwreck marsh. Seems weird, but I. Silent clearing. Okay. Now, what kind of cyborg cards can I put in this list? Get out of go blank. I'm just going to try to use cards that I already have. Um. Or portable hole. Portable hole could work. We'll just put some duresses. There's three white sources. Good cash. That means that's utterly playable. 
Uh, it's like Sam knew that we were we, we, like he had the feeling that we were going to be playing this deck right now. So he decided to join us. Vindicate is white based. So we, I guess we need to stay black primarily, I guess, in the board. Did I miss something? Oh, Crit Breaker. I completely missed a Crit Breaker. So I think we should have some... What's that zombie? Um, The two-drop zombie. I'll find it. If I could learn how to spell. Wednesday's just not a good day for me. Mm, probably. Um, where is he? Uh, some undead augers. So if we face something that tries to wrath our board, we could draw some cards out of it. And... Is there any other zombies that are worth it? Oh, uh, he is fine. Maybe Demir Two Drop Lord. Yeah, but if we're trying to get out of aggro, I guess if you're more aggro instead of contr um, I guess he could be fine. And I guess another push. You be black kill. So, I mean, that could work. Drown the lock. How many blue do we sources do we have? Um, one. So we have five white. We have five blue. So if we run a counter, um, it would have to be something within reason. Drown is worth it. Okay. Uh, I think we could probably trim something else. Because two copies seems fine. Probably don't need the other push. Okay, that looks good. That looks like a deck. Uh, we will just pick up those crit breakers that I messed up on. And get into some matches. Like I said, if we have time... Uh, we will, I will try to get it to where I can play Shadow Wolf's deck if he's still around. So my goal tomorrow is is to um, re do the video about the what I'm wanting to do with the channel. Um, Kevin, you need that deck put into a deck site. Sure, that would be that would be nice if you could just transfer that over to a deck site. It'd be much easier for me to import it. See, that's why you're a mod. Doing those small things that make it easier to run a stream. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, I'm talking about, um, we had a new guy join today. He found, I think he found my stream. I don't know. Uh, 
I don't know if he's in chat, but he had a goblin list. He posted it in the welcome chat. So if uh if Richie could put that into a into any of the that kind of stuff, that would be that would be nice. And post that underneath it. That would make it easier. What am I doing? We're in modern. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Welcome chat got it. Yes. I try to, I try to, um, give special things to, uh, new people as my way of saying thank you for joining. So, all right. Oh, you said mole after I already accepted it. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. Crypt champion. I'm curious to see how this card actually works out. I've never played this card. Dragon Rage Channeler. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Uh, zombie. Look at this counter flipping hand. God, I hate, I hate modern. Like, every deck in the top of the meta are all stupid control decks. <laughs> you have Murktide. You have... Is it Creativity runs counters? Every freaking deck on the top end of Modern plays counters. <laughs> but if we could beat Murktide, Archmages, we have tr true that. That, yeah, you're totally right. I should have picked that so that way he can't, for one, steal my stuff, two, draw cards. You're right. Finally, someone understands my current distancing. <laughs> I hate, I, I, I don't know, I, I have a problem with modern uh, zombie. It's a huge distaste, to be honest with you. Play a lord. I mean, honestly, is there any deck that's worth anything on the top of the meta in modern? You have you have um, scram or scum disdain. I have not seen your anti rogs video. If you have you posted it. I thought you said you were going live, but I didn't know if you actually did anything with it. Okay, okay. We could watch that in a second. It's all about promoting. It's all about promoting people's stuff. I streamed it, not played, but deck building it. Vile. Hmm. We get it. You're going to pitch a counter because it makes no sense. Weird. Your video never comes in my feed breach. Uh, it's because you have to... He doesn't at everybody, so... So, yeah, I mean, you have to go down to promote your stuff. So... Passager. All right. So if we draw a land, I should start doing that. Do it in moderation. But I don't think you don't really post enough anyway. So once every blue moon is reasonable. I try not to at everyone every time I go live. Just because I imagine that is a, that is a nuisance. But I, maybe I should do it every time. Increase the viewership. Gets fresky. Okay. Is 
It's your Discord, and they can mute channels. I guess go for it, even though I know you have counters. Swinging out, printably sent. Yes. He is aware that we will be attacking. Just a reminder, hit that like button and sub. Do it. Because like I, like I said in the last stream, my goal is to, which I'm going to announce in the video, is once we get monetized... I will be doing veteran streams, so, and I, I hope that is something that people would be interested in. So, whatever money gets made by YouTube and donations, I'm going to donate to the, the VA office. Got it. How do we hack tube to boost our streams? Okay. I guess Drown on the Lock. Duress is probably... Mm, go blank. Go blank. That's what we need. And what are we, got, what are we going down? Maybe a crypt? Um, maybe day crypt breaker? Do not dilute too much. Yeah, I just brought in three go blanks. Because that does hate on Murktide. Hmm. If I had another land, this hand would be a lot better. Because then I could Perished, Tide, Tide, Image, a tide and just take his entire hand apart. But I, I don't know if I'm gonna draw another land. My stream spoiler, it was basically black white prison. Aha. You have two draws. Alright. If we top deck a land here, that would be uh, great. Grave crawler. All right, play champion of the perished. Go. Oh, we're we're but we're more lucky than good, I guess. Considers. I'm probably we probably not though, right? <laughs> if we could somehow get scholar, 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 that would be hilarious. <laughs> we get to please the entire hand. Ledger Shredder. Bobble. Where's the 5-0 in Modern Lands? Is that a deck? Modern Lands? I mean, unless you're talking about Titan Shift. Uh, what, what the heck? What lands? Carrion Feeder. Damn it. Yes, a very bad one. Grave Crawler. Pass. All right. All right, guys. We have a... We got to draw one this turn. Loam. Oh, man. That just reminds me of the deck that's getting played. Carrion Feeder. He bolts there. Okay. Hit you for two. Like, so that just makes me, remind me of, uh, 
I do have... We lost the sub. How did we lose the sub? That's depressing. Um... So, I recorded it. It's airing on the 25th. <laughs> I have a lot already uploaded. <laughs> I do need to upload the other videos for that week, but ironically, if it's a land, he should put it on the bottom. But for some reason, this does not tell me where what he does with it. Cavern of Souls. On Zombie. Skuller. Uh, take Murktide. Pass the turn. Question is, can we get it? Upticks. Give me another land. I have all gas in hand. So, the best thing that you guess you could leave on top is a ether vial. It's not really great. But again, I still can't see what he does with it. In real life, I would be able to know because I see him physically moving it to the bottom. He top decks a Merc Tide. What the hell? Talk about luck. All right. Another zombie. Take the bolt. I don't know why you let that resolve. Makes no sense. Pass the turn. Should have just bolted here. I mean, that would have made a lot more sense. Sack it, I guess. That resolves. Now what? Yeah, but the problem is more of... How do you get through it? So, I could loop them, but all I'm doing is giving him connive triggers. Bolts. There. That's more of the problem. Like... Ledger Shredder does a lot. It's such a strong card. Plays another Merc Tide. Is that what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Look at that clock. Look at that clock. He gets super frisky. We're not dead. And now we are. Yep, that's something. All right, maybe this time we won't get stuck on that, you know, small amounts of lands. Yeah, the list that he posted was Pioneer. So, 
this does not look like a combo hand. Did you post the, where'd you post the, the, the link? We'll keep, uh, put fatal push to the bottom. Play champion of the perished. This hand looks like it could do work against Mark Tide. That's all the only reason I'm keeping this. If he shredders, we have an answer. If we can get to go blank, oh. Galter, Grave Crawler plus Alter. So we play Vile. Okay, Unholy Heats. Pretty acceptable, right? We'll yield to Linstop. I assume Shredder's coming. Oh, Iteration. Okay. Like I said, we will, we'll see if we can get to a couple matches of that. E E on zero. Interesting. Champion of the perished. Pass. Scalding Tarn. This is still match one, right? A flippin' Merc Tide. Ugh. Go, go, champion of perished. Like Power Rangers. <laughs> okay. Well, this is not what I was hoping would occur. We just can't find lands. He had five conclusion for us and two game trails, so I did four and three. I probably will just put stomping grounds instead of the game trails since his deck is a budget list, and I already have stomping grounds, so why not? Oh, it has stomping grounds already? That must be where bulk of the, the money is. Okay. If you add more, it'd be cheating. Well, sometimes you gotta cheat a little bit to get a hat, right? When when people are when other players are doing unfair things, sometimes you gotta cheat. <laughs> Nikachu approves. Not really. Ugh. We are definitely just dead, right? We're just not finding lands. I'm trying to put y'all on TV, not iPhone. Oh. Sky holler. Sometimes you just got to fetch Overgrown Tomb. That Nisa. And we dead. Nothing is more unsatisfying. Ask the kid in Honolulu about the loss. Freaking Fury. Now he bolts here, takes back the Fury.
Letter Shredder. Finally play the Letter Shredder. We get, we we got a game though, right? We got we got game one. We're at eight. Yes. Yes. All right, we're dead, but we will make you go blank. Ironically, this might help him <laughs> because uh, Merc Tide gets bigger. We're dead. We're definitely just dead. Um, okay. So we can download text file. Go back here. Pioneer. Import. Shadow Wolf. Is this the same guy? Did we just face this guy? All right. I don't need to face the same deck again. Yes. Murktide in the tournament lounge. It's not unlikely that that would happen. I mean, people are trying to... Okay. Look at all these vials. All right. City of Brass. So this must be Dredge. Okay. Vile. Pass. Yeah, I mean, like I said, people traditionally play it uh, in the free just to, you know, get practice with it before they do a league. So, makes sense. Pass the turn. You're big enough to be found on YouTube, Strang Stranger. What's YouTube, Stranger? Oh my god, I didn't even... I'm gonna drop chat. I must be missing something. What is a YouTube stranger? I must be an old person. Uh,
Okay. Untap. Yes. Yes. Four drop. Perfect. Um. You're, now you're not on my phone. I can't. I call tell what we're playing. We're playing zombies. This is Sam's deck. My laptop says it doesn't have speakers anymore, although it still does. <laughs> Sounds like you have a nice laptop. Forbidden Orchard. What the hell? What am I facing? This looks like a curse deck, but I don't see any curses. So, land go deck. Maybe. Update your drivers or reinstall them or check to see if they're plugged in. Uh, you're talking to Reggie about your unplug, un uninstall your speaker driver. Or update your speaker driver. Or simply, the first thing you do for uh, troubleshooting IT, restart the computer. Aha, uh -huh. killed him. Uh, facing a red deck. Maybe duress. I don't like that. Of course, that that's the first thing you always do. Restart the computer. If that don't work, you smack it until it works. No. Madcap experiment killed them. Vile. <coughs> okay. We might we might be able to get this one. Then again, we we, we got game one last time. That did not work out in our favor. Uh, zombie. Pass the turn. I did that to test the last one. The last, the one key wouldn't work and it was lock screen password. A blue. Okay. Makes no sense. He just wanted to deal damage to himself? I'm confused. Richie, explain. Can't type one, two, three, four, five, six without the one. Okay. Hopefully that's not your password. <laughs> that's like rule 101. Ice Fang Quadle. 
It was my laptop lock screen password. Yeah, literally for only MTGO, which has its own password. Uh, you got me, man. I, I don't understand. I don't understand what you're saying, nor will I repeat it on this air. <laughs> All right. That goes to three. I wonder, how, do, how does this combo work? So... Hmm. He did cast a spell. Richie, if you can, I delete it before you. I should. I'm not exactly sure how this thing combos. I smacked it like Kevy said. <laughs> yes, did it work? That's that's the, that's the old classic thing. You guys remember the old big TVs you used to smack the back of the big TV and make it work again? <laughs> Who remembers that? Which is how how we're on this topic. Uh, but does anyone remember those TVs and has smacking the back of them? <laughs> I put a pencil to the board trying to press one real hard. And Kevy, I I'd edit that out for his safety roughly two twenty in. <laughs> I mean, someone has to go and find him. Still his laptop. They can hack my old junk laptop with zero personal info. Champion of the Perished. I guess I gotta realize that this is not technically an illusion. Alright? Or is not technically a zombie. Uh go to combat. I mean this we're not even winning because of uh Okay. We will Crack that, I suppose. I'm so confused. I don't know what exactly I'm facing. What what is this is in game here? I mean, we're getting really frisky though. 
Yeah, he gave us a spirit token. We win. I wanted to play my guy, but they cast two spells. All right. Chumps man. And then we'll get into the last deck. We'll play like a match of that too, because just to get a little feel. All right, what all do I need to, to rent here? So I need to rent... Layline of Combustion. Alpine Moon. Uh, one land hand. Ironically, this hand, for the most part, could be cast. We're risking it. Rob the archives. I guess I already have game trails. That's fine. That's all I need. That's all I need is eight ticks. Put that on zombie. And play a champion. His plan was to play lands and die, if you ask me. I still don't know his plan. I assume there is a plan, but what is that said plan? I have no idea. Give me a land. Okay. Um, come on, I don't, I don't need to see every little thing. Um, champion of the perished. Pass the turn. Can we top deck a land, please? We should start be it because if we could get a land, we could play two zombies this turn. And uh Then again, what does that honestly do? We can't use the blue at, at all. So maybe that was weird. Aha, we found the blue. Grow the champion. Attack the fairy? Yep, instant speed prismatic ending. That's not busted. Did I miss a card? Oh, Legion's Loyalist. That one of Legion's Loyalist. Sweet, there's a land. Um, Crypt Breaker.
grave crawler. See what he has to say. Black, blue, white. Um, to fairy face face. Solitude. Should he eat the captain? He eats a grave crawler. Okay. It's whatever. Okay. Okay. You guys still there? Nothing has been said since keep. Fading fast. You're getting ready to sleep. Okay. It also doesn't help for facing a control player. <laughs> it makes you go to sleep even faster. Go to combat. To fairy face. All right. I'm done with control. I'm old. Get off my lawn. All right. We'll just get into the other deck. Control. God, I hate control. Ugh. That's all there is in modern these days. Solitude, counter spells. Okay, keep. We have a one drop. Snoop. S Snoop. Instigator. Laugh a lot on stream last night. They were talking about foil transformer cards. Someone said Autobots roll out. <laughs> Auto foil. Curl out. That is true. Makes me smile because it's true. Alright, we will play Allegiance Loyalist and attack. See if you make the offer of the trade. Doesn't. Okay. 
If this is mono green, I'm going to be really sad. This is Golgari. Elves. Okay. So, a legendary match here. All right, forest, right, play Dittison, yeah, now we are the ramp player, we got goblin elves, this feels like cheating, this feels like cheating, dual decks are back, uh, it, they could, make the challenger decks, Make them uh, elves, make goblins, make merfolk. Seems great. Just make a tribal. Oh my god. That's a... He definitely should have switched that. He missed out on one point of damage. <laughs> wow. Um, Snoop. And we're dead. Okay. Can't do nothing about that. He came out wide. So against elves. Nothing seem great. Not really an artifact enchantment based deck. Uh, I guess we'll bring. No, actually, those are not bad. We'll go down that, go up a Trash Master for another Lord. Okay. Now, the question is can we beat him on the draw? Or on the play, I should say. Okay. Ironically, this hand's actually weird, isn't it? Shoot. This is actually kind of a weird hand. Uh, I need another red source for this hand to really start to work. I just seen the, you know, the snoop in the right. I'm like, okay. I get a little bit of a combo going on here. I play a one drop off top of my library. Tap it. I need a red source. Okay. Snoop. Passageard. So that's pretty decent. <clears throat> Plays a War Master. Another land on top. Hmm. <laughs> right I guess I could just tap for another snoop passenger alright we are making a board here we just need to stop seeing lands off top of our library elvish visionary draws a card makes a dork Probably taxed with his war master, maybe. Death right shaman. He does attack. Doesn't. Okay. No land on top, please. No land. Okay, sweet. Play horde master. Well that's not worth it. So play another one of those. Yep. Pass the turn. Siege Game Commander could produce a lot of mana. That's a statement I never thought I would actually say. Siege Game Commander can produce a lot of mana. Collected Company. Please whiff on that. The damage dealing one. Okay. Already, I'd say we we need less crip. Yeah, I mean we we drew two this this game. 
I mean, the odds of you drawing two, I think, are pretty small, but we're finding all three of them. <laughs> we're good at this. We're good at magic. Damn it, there's a land on top. All right. Play Siege Gang Commander. Okay. Eat that. Oh my god. There's the other one. <laughs> That's freaking ridiculous. We find all four? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Um, Shadow Wolf, I'm so sorry. We never need two, so <laughs> two or three max should do it. Yeah, I think three would be fine. But again, oh my god, we still found three. We still found four. <laughs> but I do like the. I do like what it provides. Like we're able to produce a lot of mana with our, our goblins, turn them into elves. It's a nice feeling because it makes me feel like I'm doing what my opponent's doing. Okay, he passes. Here for a second. Hey, Mr. DJ Long. Ah. So, we snipe here. Yep. What's the what's the game plan with mono red goblins? To have fun. <laughs> That's the plan. So, I'm assuming you're going to be uh, doing your stream soon, Mr. DJ, right? Hmm. Snipe there. Actually, I should be tapping it for mana. And then sacking it. We started on that deck. And now we're on Gruel Goblins. There we go, there we go. That's something I can cast. I can get behind a skirt prospector. I'm not sure if I'm streaming tonight. That's not good. Alright, how do I get this thing? Does this thing only exile goblins? Okay. I only get to play goblins. So, what we'll do... We'll just show our opponent we're going to play multiple rights here. Yeah, we got them for days. Don't kill us. <laughs> that's a that's a great line. We got them for days. Don't kill us. <laughs> if I do, it would be way later than normal. I imagine if you're still at work, um, I guess it would be like seven your time, almost eight. Because you're in Cali, right? Okay, he swings out with everything. This is six. 
So one, two, three, four. I have to block. Here. This is a three, two. So I guess I have to block here. Oh wait, this has menace. That's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, that still works. Uh, block here. No lords, please. No lords. This... It'd be so funny if I was clueless and genuinely confused. <laughs> oh, God. That, that just beats us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We got one more. One more. One more match. There is definitely some interesting components about this deck. But it's nice to see you, Mr. J DJ Long here. I'm not sure if you're sub to my channel or not, but it's gr it's glad to I'm glad to see you come by. It's fine. It's too late to adjust anyways. Last game. Yes, last match. I need to go eat dinner. I always eat dinner like uh, at 10 p.m. usually on Wednesdays. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I got some nachos. It's going to be a good time. You know, I don't think there's very, I don't think there's a lot of nutritious value in nachos. Just saying. <coughs> Man, I already had din dinner, dessert, and a snack. That sounds like a lot of food. All right. <laughs> so how's it going, Nathan? How's it going? You having a good day? I'm assuming you're still in here. Well, I'm on, I'm on my defense. My dad made chicken parmesan for the first time. It wasn't good. I didn't eat much. Ah, crap, dude. That sucks. Um, put ringling under the bottom, I suppose. And we'll let our opponent do his turn. Steam vents. Okay. That's what I want to hear. You're doing, you're having a good day. You're playing Elden Ring. <coughs> hey. Don't be so rude to the goblins. Ledger Shredder. Hmm.
he doesn't mean listen. I cook, he, he trusts me. The chicken breading was soggy. Jar sauce with no love in it. Ah, oh, man, that's like half of the ingredients in, um... At Spongebob, right? Krusty Krab? It was every burger's made with love. That's half the ingredients. We're gonna draw a forest. That's pretty good. Ah, come on, man. Why can't we just do nice things? Alright, play right. Play Prospector. Yeah, we're facing Is It Phoenix, which is a pretty good matchup. Or, a pretty good deck, I should say. Not a good matchup. I don't know how the goblins stack up against Murktide. Or, um, against Phoenix. Thank God there's not a Murktide in Pioneer. <laughs> uh, if they ever, if they would have ever printed that card into, into Standard, that would have been a nightmare. Uh... Maybe. Uh, how do we do this? So I think first things first, I need to... Wait a minute. I can just... Hard cast this. That works. Destroy that. Pass the third. This has reach. We found a loophole. We found a loophole with our uh, Goblin Sniper. Maybe this needs to be in another deck. Maybe I need to figure out a way to break this card. Pyromancer. There you go. Broke it. This with Pyromancer. Make every little 1-1 one, one token you make. You just tap it. Produce more colored manas. It works. Horde Master. Um, I don't think I want to use this because of the stupid Shredder. I want to play Grixis Time Sleep with a kind of class. He bounces there. Okay. We can't have nice things. Okay. Okay. Now what are you going to do? You can knives. Oh! This is not Is It Phoenix. This is... This is Pyromancer. With Shredder. Shredder? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Pretty good magic card. And we're red base removal. So I don't know how we're going to get through that. Play Hobo Gobble. And play R Horde Master. Make a semi-chunky sniper. I mean, he's a 4-5. Pass the turn. We're trying here. I mean, he can go probably wider than us. Of one mind makes another token. Another of one mind makes another token. Did I see a thing in the ice? I don't think so. I guess I should have blocked. I should have blocked. But it's whatever. It's fine. Hypothetically, distilling elk is pretty boring by yourself. I have no idea what that means. We'll just cast this.
display the land. Play Goblin Instigator. I learned myself how to make moonshine. Man, that is uh, promoting something on this channel. <laughs> Alright, so we have two creatures ETB. Um, sacrifice the token. Horde Master, maybe? Maybe get something out of this? Damn it. All right. Sacrifice it. I don't drink, Abby. It's survival of the fittest. <laughs> yes, because, I mean, you can't go wrong with making some, uh, Pass. Wait, 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 wait. We will burn there. That was the reason, the whole reason why I was doing all that effort was so I could snipe something down. Well done. My hat is off to you, fellow viewer. <laughs> Nathan's a good dude. Fellow viewer, such a, it's a great, it's a great line. I like it. All right, how much damage was that? Pass the turn. He has six tokens. Sugar wash and sugar wash with coconut sugar. Burn the corn one. See, I'm not from the south enough. I don't know how to make moonshine. That's not it. That was not in my training when I was growing up. Alcohol is di a disinfectant. Can be used as a motor fuel. Good for trade. I mean, that's all that matters, right? Is you do something that's good for trade. <clears throat> Alright, we sack it, I guess. That is true. I mean, there is a lot of positive qualities about alcohol outside of, you know, the side effects it gives you to make you in a happy mood. It's called being in a happy place. <laughs> it's also illegal in the States, but most states still press the law on it. Don't press the law on it. You're talking about alcohol? Or just moonshine? Moonshine, I could believe, might be illegal. <laughs> Preach, if you're not selling it, they don't care. Yep, yeah, you gotta have a license. If you sell it illegally, that's where they care. Um, hmm. That's all they care about is profits. Maybe I should have waited until after he declared blockers here. And I'm not 21. That is a good point. He's a young folk. I keep telling him to get off my lawn, and he and he's staying on it. Ugh. Just don't blow yourself up, man. Uh, goblins are meant to be blown up. That's the whole reason why they're here. We need a siege game commander. He has uh, four points of damage here. Of one mind. Alright. Um, I probably am running on gas. Alright, he beats its exactsies. 
Good job. All right. So I think we need to bring in obliterating bolts. I'm assuming we have some on the board. Pile drivers. Eh, that works too. That works. Uh, we could bring in ley line of combustion. Maybe. He does have a lot of removal. But... I don't think he's very good. All right, we're not like that. All right, we need to knock this one out of the park. All right, we got gobos. I do think we need more one drops though. That seems like a weakness of this deck, but I like this list. Oh my God, he killed my one drop. So what this deck is missing, I'm going to probably recommend some stuff. Um, let's play Gora Gora. And give it a haste. All right, shoots it down. That's fine. <clears throat> it is what it is. All right. Habo Gabo. Bottom, I guess. Jeez, we can't resolve anything. We need another land. Let me get double spell in one turn. There we go. File driver. Horde master. Pastured. I just like trying new things. I did an alcohol hash hish extraction last week. Well, I mean, isn't, isn't that the whole point of going hunting? You got to have some sort of whiskey or something with you. Come on. Can't goblins just, you know, be happy? He has to keep killing them all. Sure, take it. All right, pass the turn. It makes sense. You you should be safe with your firearms. Oh my god. Absolutely. That is the whole part of the game. And if you see somebody not being safe with a firearm, thanks for tr 
Oh, we drew a land. Of course. That's what this is all about, Shadow. Okay. <clears throat> I don't really drink. I just do it with my family. Hmm. Is it worth it? Ah, oh, come on. We just top deck lands. We die. Okay. Well, okay. So, this deck. I feel like if we're in green, we should be we should be running Shaper Sanctuary. Uh I feel like this is the better card. Especially since... So anytime our creature gets targeted, we get to draw a card. That's probably better than the Combustion. And we should have some sort of removal on the board. Because um, we can't really... We, did, we could not answer... Bigger threats. Probably don't need that Alpine Moon. And maybe not Trash Master. Okay. I think that could definitely... I guess maybe Trash Master is fine, actually. Um... Maybe over a pile driver. So I think that would help your sideboard. Um, definitely. And main board. I mean, sometimes this twin saw it's a decent removal spell. It did help a little bit, but we had just no ways of answering um Ledger Shredder, which really hurt us. I like so this package here. So we have a lot of token makers to work with this package, which is kind of nice, which actually boosts up Hopgoppo quite well. Like it could actually do a decent amount of work just because we're able to. And of course, Snoop, right? Snoop is also pretty good for this to keep digging. Um, I'm not sold on Rob the Archives. Like that is one of the cards where I'm just like, it's probably not worth it. I don't know what you would replace it with, but Gora Girl makes sense because we have right, and then you just give all your stuff haste, start tapping them for more mana, combo off a little bit. So I mean <clears throat> needs a lower curve. That's what I was kind of thinking. I don't necessarily think you need a full place out of those. You could probably go up a Legion's Loyalist. Seems pretty reasonable. We have a lot of 19... We have a lot of... We have a lot of... Uh, 19 drops. Or 2 drops. Um. So what kind of card advantage piece... Could we play... What about Grumgolly? We're not really a combo list with it. It is a semi lord that I guess if they kill Grumgolly, it still sticks with the, the plus plus one counter sticks around. Um, I, I want to think of a, a draw spell, but I'm not sold on what is available here. XL and red. I mean, red primarily only has like XL base draw. There is light up the stage, but I think for the most part, if you can get away with it, you kind of want. <clears throat> but the mana reducer is pretty redundant, and the haste is most important. Yes, the haste does allow your right 
them to immediately start tapping for more manas. Which is why I think three is the right number. You could, I don't know, maybe if you rather have that, but I, I think the, the damage is more important because you need ways of controlling the board a little bit. And the question is, what kind of draw? What kind of draw spell is there? What's the four damage or draw spell that has pseudo flashback? The four damage or draw spell that has pseudo flashback. The idea is it gives a tons of damage with the Lord from... Yes, yes, yes. I, I totally see that. Like, it's kind of like... <clears throat> it's kind of like Elf Ball, right? But goblins instead. That's what you're basically doing. You're doing Goblin Elf Ball. <laughs> Which works because this guy here can produce a lot of damage. The four damage or draw s s spell that has pseudo flashback. Oh my god, if I could spell, that would be that would be nice. Oh, 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 no, that's not flashback. That's jumpstart. Maybe a dash in between? Jordan's still here. I didn't know he was still here. Sweet. We, oh, we went back up to eight people. Uh, yeah, so risk factor. So, the question is, is that better than rob the archives? I was trying to go for a goblin that drew cards. Because then you get to sack them to and play them off of a Snoop, right? We really need more ways of trying to do what Snoop does. So we can elf, so we can ball. Oh. The other possibility is we could run some fable passages over these. So that way if we have a, if we have something that way we can keep the passage on the board and cast, cast, cast until we get to the point where we find another land on top. Then we crack the passage, reset the top of the library. It's actually kind of nice. Maybe that's what we need to be doing instead of uh, Rob. Maybe there's something we can do to reset the top of the library. I'm not sure what else to recommend. I like Gorgoro. <coughs> well, maybe actually Gorgoro is what you should be cutting. Warchief is better than Gorgoro. I think. Oh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Uh-huh. Not exactly a goblin, per se, but it makes goblins. So we could run a couple Fables down ro Rob. Um...
maybe a ringleader. Okay, so I think that is where I would want this to end. Um, so yeah, hopefully that was some helpful criticism and changes for the deck. Like the thank you shadow for coming out uh, for your first stream. Yes, enjoy my nachos. I will definitely be doing that. So, I will see you guys on Sunday. Take care.